Pleased to be joined by General Manager John Robinson. Obviously, you know him well. You picked him in the first round in 2018. But I wonder, what's the best thing about Rashawn Evans that you didn't know until he got here and became part of your team? Yeah, I mean, I think anytime you're evaluating uh, players, you, you can watch the game film, you can go to practice, you can go to games and, and see what they, they do on the field. Our scouts did a great job. They talked to the coaches and staffs about his personality. I would say the biggest thing is his coachability and his work ethic. He's been a tireless worker here. He's been extremely coachable, and I think it shows in his on the field play by the way he's improved. We were interested to learn about Michael Pruitt in the last segment. and. He's a guy who was a fifth round pick of the Minnesota Vikings, has a great rookie year, and then since then, he goes on sort of the parade of practice squads until he gets to Nashville, and now he's part of this football team. He's that tough, dependable, team first guy. Yeah, I think he, he embodies the, that fighter spirit that, you know, that a lot of our players have and that we, that we want in players. Guys that have overcome situations and really kind of carved out a, a niche for himself. He's done a really good job for us, plays, uh, you know, a variety of roles for us. His versatility is really good. You know, he can play on the line of scrimmage. He can play in the backfield as a fullback. We can detach him as an F-tie-in, as well as being an important part of the, of the kicking game. Your 2019 first round pick, defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons, Starts practice this week. What has he been doing over the last six weeks to prepare him to hopefully be part of the Titans team over the last couple months of the season? Yeah, I mean, he's really been working hard with, with our training staff, you know, rehabbing that knee, getting in, in as best as game shape it, uh, as possible, heavily involved in the meetings, trying to learn and work some technique things that we coach up front all, all along the defensive line. I know he's excited to be back out there and we're excited to have him. The opponent this Sunday, the Los Angeles Chargers, their quarterback, Phillip Rivers, who's been there like 40 years, it seems like. <laughs> What's the challenge playing against a Phillip Rivers offense? Well, you said it. I mean, he's a Hall of Fame player. He's played in this league a long time. I'm not sure there's a coverage or, or blitz that he hasn't seen in, in his time. He's a fiery leader. You know, he really makes that offense go. So we'll have to do a good job, you know, with disguising our coverage, with matching our, our rush with our coverage to try to throw him off. Turn to the Los Angeles Chargers defense. Gus Bradley runs that defense. We obviously know him from being the head coach in Jacksonville. What are the potential problems that a Chargers defense can cause a Titans offense this Sunday? Well, I think, you know, it's a couple years in that system under Gus. There's a lot of veteran players over there. They're really good up front. Uh, you know, with Bosa, with Ingram, with Meebane, Justin Jones out of NC State, he's really having a good season for him. Thomas Davis comes over at linebacker. Casey Hayward, the Vanderbilt product, extremely productive guy in the back end. So, you know, we'll have to really do a good job trying to match and, and trying to outwit that, those veteran guys. Give us John Robinson's keys to the Titans winning over the Chargers. Well, I think for us, it's about execution and effort. You know, it's about whenever your numbers call, whatever job that you have to do in any of the three phases, that you go out and execute your job with maximum effort for 60 minutes.